What is going on guys? Ryan from Living Salty here and welcome to the 2022 Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some of my favorite vendors here at the show. Why don't we kick things off with two of my favorite people in the whole boating and fishing and YouTube industry, Amanda and Emily Gale from the Gale Forest Twins. Let's see what they got going on at their booth here at the boat show. Now we are at the Gale Forest booth with Amanda and Emily here yet again. It's really good to see you guys again. And they're going to show us around their booth, show us they have a bunch of new products here. So they're going to show us around, show us some of the new products they got. Yeah, we're so glad you're here. And this is our booth the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show. So Emily, do you want to yeah, show them around a little and bit? In case you guys don't know, Amanda, I'm Amanda. Emily. Amanda, Emily. So we have Gale Force rods. We have four different rods. We have a reef rod. We call it our all-purpose rod, which is a 50 to 30 pound. We have a light spinning bass rod and a slow pitch rod. But if we go into this corner, we have some women's v-necks and we also have kids shirts. Yes, we have our kids shirts here, which all different designs. people are loving. We have our mahi design, design, our camo, which has fish hiding in the camo. There we it's go. A shark there. And then we have our little hat section, which is a mirror for people to check there we out go. <laughs> their hats. And then we've got over oh, here, we have our YouTube channel. Well, let's playing. check out those hats. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, don't yeah. underestimate the hats. We got visors too. Yeah. I respect the visors. Visors. We have soft, unstructured hats. These are like unstructured and soft. There we go. And then we have this awesome flat bill. I really like the gray one up there. That's yeah. a nice hat. Yeah, the gray one. Oh, there we go. This is our gray yeah. hat, kind of like a trucker. Yep. And we got our dad caps, yeah, as you the young guys like to call them. <laughs> and then we have our YouTube channel. Um, Displayed, of course, yes. right in the middle. And props to them, they did an excellent job with this booth. You guys see, aesthetically, it looks fantastic here. What else we got going on? And this is where we have all of our men's shirts, so. Matching buff to the shirt, too. Look yeah, at that. We've got Some peacocks. Peacock bass. This is our um, limited edition Intrepid shirt, which will not be restocked because we are with Invincible. So we're so <laughs> excited. We have an Invincible boat. This shirt was designed prior to having the Invincible. This is when we were running this boat. We have our t-shirts. We got the Hughes. Yep. Up there, the new flats boat. We have our all over Mahi design. We have so many designs. This is our whole thing. Tons of apparel. You guys got a whole line going now. Yeah, got a whole thing going. You guys still selling the hoodies? Are you wearing? Yeah, the hoodies are online. We didn't bring them to the show because they take up a lot of space in the booth. We just store them, so. <laughs> Because it's 85 degrees on, they're the only people here wearing hoodies, right? Yeah, exactly. We happen to be right in front of a air conditioning booth, so they're yes. air, their AC. Blowing AC on yeah. them. That's our word hoodies all day. Okay, thank you so much, man and Emily, for showing me around. You guys, are so you guys are expanding quickly. Yeah, thank you. Yes, and they also have a double booth here. I don't know if you guys noticed. It's double the size here, so they're growing very quickly here. Thank you, guys. It's so good to see you. Guys. Thank you. Good to see you. I apologize for the background noise in those clips, but that was literally the least busy that those tents were the entire show. I had a great time seeing the Gale Forest Twins again this year and their booth and the products just keep expanding every single time I see them. Now you might have heard Amanda mention that they are with Invincible now and I have something really special to bring to you guys. So their brand new Invincible boat was actually at the Invincible booth this year at the boat show and I did a little walkthrough, not a full one, but just a little walkthrough of their brand new boat. I think it's time we check out their brand new Invincible boat. So right behind me here, we have the 33 foot Invincible center console. And this center console right here is a very special one. And I'm about to tell you why. So we are going to take off our shoes in respect to Invincible. And we're gonna hop on up on this beautiful 33 foot Invincible. And we'll take a quick walk around, just show you, you got two big old Simrads all decked out helm over here. You come around, I mean, this is the ultimate fishing machine. You can see there's no seating or anything up front, just a whole bunch of room to do any fishing, loaded with rod holders absolutely everywhere. Check out this, this is one of my favorite features, this big old coffin style cooler. We'll open this up for you. So open this on up and take a look at all of that storage. I mean, you guys can fit so much ice, so much bait, so much drinks, anything you wanna put right into this huge coffin cooler. It's also equipped with a very comfortable looking lounge chair over here. A huge fish box that will open up for you really quickly. 
a huge fish box. I mean, that goes back inside there. Easily could fit a person, a swordfish if you wanted to, anything like that. Consensus is this boat is a fishing machine right here. So you can see we have a live well in the ground over here, more fish boxes on the side. We have another live well right over here, a huge one. Not sure what this is, so we'll open this up real quick. Oh, it's a sink, look at that, we got a nice sink. That way you can wash your fishy hands when you guys are fishing. Tackle stations, everything cooler over here. And a very comfortable looking bench style seat. Now the reason why this boat is actually so special is because this exact boat is the one that the Gale Force Twins just announced um, the being partnered with Invincible. And this is the boat that they're gonna be fishing on and using inside all their videos. So when you guys, if you do watch the Gale Force Twins, you will see them fishing. This is the exact boat that they are fishing on. But yep, I just wanted to show you guys this boat really quickly because I'm sure a lot of you guys are watching my videos probably also watch the Gale Force Twins videos. So this is the exact boat that they're gonna be fishing on. So that's pretty cool. That 33 foot Invincible center console is a fishing machine Congrats, Emily and Amanda, on a beautiful boat. Now, let's hop on over to SeaWorld Systems booth here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Okay, we are here now. It is the end of the day on Friday of the Boat Show, and we are here with my friends here at SeaWorld. We met them at the Palm Beach Boat Show. They were super nice and showed me around their booth now. Now they got some new stuff, and we're gonna take a look at what they got. Okay, so this is our five-foot table. We have added a couple of options, some extra stuff. This is our double cabinet. It goes on any of our tables. You can see plenty of storage. Super impressive. Yeah. Let's open this one on up too. Double storage. I would put boat soaps, any of that kind of stuff, fillet knives, fillet all that knives. kind of you stuff. You can put a bucket in here. Absolutely. You have an option of doing one or two. Um, we also have a shelf. We made a shelf. We had a captain yep. that actually, when he was finished filleting, his fish, he'd want to set it up here. Okay. So this is also an option, and this this shelf can also be put down here as well. Okay. So very customized. Where can it go? Where, oh, it under. can go right here instead of the actual cabinets. Oh, okay, very cool. Yeah. So this is a nice shelf with some holes to drain out anything. Beautiful light, canvas and everything like that. I mean, this is really the ultimate play table. I've never seen anything look nearly as good as the play tables here. And you can also see they have the SeaWorld logo right here, and you can it's customize huge. that. You can customize your boat name, a logo, whatever you guys prefer. So for me, it would say living salty right across there. <laughs> So we have a cup holder over here too. We have the hose that comes out. I mean, everything's thought out. If you guys are interested in just checking out your play table setup, this is definitely one that I would consider buying. Okay, so we also have some other accessories here too, right? Some rod caddies, yep. Okay, Keeping very cool. Marine grade aluminum, so okay. they'll last forever. Some They're marine. powder coated. And you can also have your custom name put in right over here, right? Exactly. So how many does this hold? Two, four, two, four, six, eight, ten. So we got 10 rods that can go into that. And it's available up to 16. And it's available up to 16. Very cool. And what do we have and over this here? Our Mac Daddy Heavy Duty. This is called the Ace. The Ace? Again, the Ace. Okay. Same thing. Powder coated, green grade aluminum. You need to pause the video if you want to look at all that information right there. Very this cool. This one was actually built for two bent rods. So really it's whatever the customer prefers. Okay. If they would, if they want bent rods, we have an option. So these two are for bent rods. Okay, so we got oh right there. So that one right there is for a bent rod. They custom make it to make it fit the rods that you want to put into there. And last but not least, we have the wall caddy. This is for the fisherman that wants to put it on a wall. So basically we can outfit again whatever their their desire. Um, marine grade aluminum and also powder coated. These are absolutely beautiful. So when I saw these, the first thing I thought of and me and my dad actually talked about for our dock is that we kind of wanted some place to stage our rods. So when they come off the boat and we're in between bringing them to the garage and locking them away and washing them, we'd be able to take them off the boat, put them in something like this right next to the boat on the dock. And then you can wash them off in the rod holders here and then they can make their way inside. Just something to keep it like a middleman basically in the whole process of unloading the boat. So these look absolutely beautiful. What do we have? Two, four, six, eight here. Can you get them any eight, longer than that? Eight, six, three, and two. Eight, six, three, and two. There we go. So you can take a good look. 
I mean, they're absolutely beautiful. Everything that SeaWorld does here is all top quality, top notch. You can see everything with the flay table, beautifully done. And the rod holders look fantastic over here. Okay, thank you so much, Carrie, for showing us around Thanks here for again. By. It was really good to see you again. Good to see you too. Thank you again, Seaward, for showing me around your booth at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show this year. It was great to see you all. And once again, I am very impressed by the products you guys brought to the show this year. Next up, we actually have a first time boat show vendor, a banana lover, and a mullet reppin, extremely good fisherman, and especially sword fisherman out of Alamorada, Florida, Nick and Sarah Stanzik from the Stans fam. And we are here with the Stans fam. We have Nick and Sarah's down there. They have their booth here. The first time we've got a booth at the boat show here. It's going to show us around, show us some of the Stans fam products they have going on here. All right, we brought a bunch of shirts with us, you guys, all performance shirts. Got some of our new designs, black pin tunas. We got dolphin over there. Some of our camo patterns that have been really good selling. Swordfish colors right there, my favorite. The same that we got wrapped in the boat back at home. Yep. We brought some of our rods. We got kids rods right here. Oh, just got my favorite mini rods in right here. These are offshore jigging sticks. Woo. You guys catch big fish on those, so. That's awesome. Japanese spun carbon. Got some swordfish rods. Four shirts, got some cotton shirts. Got our funny swordfish banana shirt. Everybody loves that because that's been bananas. Oh yeah, you're a big fan of bananas. We had the YouTube videos playing earlier. We're shutting down for the day though. Yep. Got our hats, got some swordfish bills that we brought in here that our friend Elise did. Sweet right and, here, uh, these custom bills. You know, a little bit of everything, so. If you make it by the boat show, check it on out. We'll see you guys then. Got some hats, visors, all that kind of good stuff over here. If you guys do like watching swordfish and just insane fishing content, these are the guys to check out right here. Check Subscribe to their channel, Stan's Fan there. They have some of the most epic fishing videos on YouTube. Thanks for showing me around, Nick. Thanks for coming by, you guys. Take it easy. Yep, good to see you. Thank you so much, Nick and Zara, for taking the time to show me around your booth. It was an absolute pleasure chatting with you at the show. And shout out to Charlie as well. He unfortunately was not around while I was filming this, but I did have the pleasure of talking to him earlier in the show. And last, but certainly not least, we are going to hop on over to the Black Tip H booth and talk to Jake and see what they brought to the show this year. What's up guys? We're here at the Black Tip booth. We're here with Jake here. He's gonna show us around a little bit, show us some of the products they got going on over here. What's up guys? We've got our Black Tip H booth here. We've got all of our rods and shirts. We've got our main man Chris. All of our hats. Yeah, we're gonna try on our gear. Right? We've got our Black Tip H plushies. And our inventory is low, which is a good problem. We sold a lot of stuff at the show, guys. Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, it's a great place to be. Make sure you check it out. Thanks so much for showing me around, Jake. It's really good to see you again. Another boat show. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, Jake, for showing me around the Black Tip H booth at yet another boat show. Now to wrap things up, we're going to take a look at some of the other odds and ends that I filmed here at the boat show. Now starting off with these beautiful fishing kayaks. These are made by Old Town, and one day I hope to have a fishing kayak as cool as these. Next up, we had to take a look at the brand new four-stroke super jet made by Yamaha. I'm still riding stand-up jet skis, even though I'm not really posting about it too much here on YouTube. And now we are taking a look at the brand new 37 Phenom, and this is actually made by Sportsman. So they came out with this line, it's more of like a luxurious, higher end boat. And what you're seeing right now is actually an $8,000 electric fishing reel. And I happened to see East Cape at the boat show, and I made a walkthrough video of them at Palm Beach Boat Show, but they have beautiful flats boats as you can see right here. And there are other boats that are just a little bit odd, like this Regal with outboards on the back. And speaking of weird, what you're seeing here is a submarine. I guess not so weird, but it was very cool to see all the buttons and how intricate it looked to make this thing work. This right here is an electric concept uh, outboard by Mercury. Thought it looked pretty cool and different. And we also have another electric outboard here as well. I also got to see Dennis Friel hosting his podcast Connected by Water Live, as you saw right there. And now we are walking through the Pursuit booth and then on to the Camus booth, which you guys might have watched the walk around videos of those boats from previous episodes of the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show this year. And that is gonna wrap things up for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please hit that like button and consider subscribing down below and leave a positive comment.
If you did enjoy today's video, you should really check out the video that's about to pop up on the left side of the screen. It's a walkthrough from this Fort Lauderdale Boat Show 2022. If you like this video, I really think you're going to like that one as well. Until my next video, remember to keep living salty.